Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and welcome to the Jenkins Mastery for Software Testers, guys. Uh, so this is very important uh, series. This is going to be very important series where we will be covering Jenkins as a uh, from the point of view as a software tester. Okay, so this is specially for the software tester who are uh, basically want to learn Jenkins. Okay. and even if you are this is applicable for freshers this is applicable for software developer also but most of the time we will be executing the software testing related projects but most of the concepts about 99% of the concepts are similar for software development and other roles okay so uh, first of all this is like a part 1 of the series and uh, this is going to be a long series where we will be covering number of concepts in the jenkins and trust me this series uh, is very important i'll tell you like to i, I just want to give you few points if you are a fresher jenkins is important because eventually you will learn the ci cd pipeline which is which is basically continuous integration continuous delivery and you have to know the jenkins which is right now uh, almost most of the organization in pro, even in product as well as in mmncs are using it so you have to know it it will be great to add jenkins knowledge into your resume because uh people expect this uh, ci cd tool or uh, automation server tool in your resume you should know it right this is like a second reason if you are experienced person you are doing manual testing or if you are a developer who don't know about jenkins and all this series should be this is for you guys because uh, i'll explain you step by step how and different things works in uh, jenkins and uh, why we need it what are the major advantages how to create different type of jobs and how to run your projects and you can help get uh, get the reports out of it you can share the reports uh, trending failures or your development related things on jenkins okay so let's discuss uh, in this video why we need to learn jenkins as a software tester all right this let me make myself little smaller okay okay so why we need to learn jenkins as a software tester let's jump to the next right so this is agenda for this uh, we will exp i'll exp i will explain you what is jenkins also and i'm going to sh show you one quick demo also by running a simple example okay what is jenkins oh, so jenkins if you know uh, this is the official website of the jenkins which basically says that built great things at any scale okay and it's a basically a leading open source automation server okay and if you say it's an open source automation server which enable the developers around the world to uh, reliably build test and deploy their software right uh, so basically let me give you this example as a normal uh, way for example i have created one application uh, it's a basically a form application where i have to fill a form and i have to submit it now and uh, this is actually getting deployed on server on production right so I don't want to every time I have uh, a particular git commit. For example, I hope you already understand what is git commit. If you don't, suppose I have changed something in my code and I want to test it and I want to basically push that into the production. I don't have to do it manually. There are automation server, there are application available which can do it for you. So whenever there is a change in the in your code and when you are confident that this code is working, you push that code to the using git. right and that with jenkins will automatically build and deploy to your auto production server and you can see the directly changes so it's an automation server which can help you to build test stay deploy to stage or any kind of a production environment okay so that's the simple simple example all right uh, so this is the diagram which basically explain everything which is you are committing a change committing basically means you are adding that okay these are my final changes uh, now i want to see this application running uh it will it will build for you it will test for you uh, you can test you can add test cases also you can go to stage or you can deploy okay awesome right so what is jenkins which let's explain uh, let me explain you in a simple way okay suppose suppose uh, in a tester this is just a tester point of view similar available uh, similarly available for the uh, developer also suppose we have created a selenium automation scripts for regression and now in developer point of view you have created application that you wanted to test okay so a, a software tester has created a selenium automation script for regression now to run the scripts someone has to manually trigger right every time for example i want to run it uh, on seventh day i want to run it daily i want to run after one hour i have to do it manually right but this this is uh, where jenkins comes in 
Jenkin can can be set up on any machine, any cloud or any machine. You can set it on on this machine also. We'll going to set it up, right? And you can run your automation server based on triggers. Okay, so trigger can be time or commit message or anything that it can be any trigger. Uh, so Jenkins builds can be scheduled and run on daily basis, and this is where Jen Jenkins Jenkins basically automate the automation process. Okay, so it will be helpful for you in this case. Now. Uh, so uh, let me give you a very simple example of Selenium that I am basically giving you. For example, de uh, we are dev right now as is automation, right? We have pushed our code. Will Jenkins will see? Uh, it will see. Okay, it is a Maven project. I hope you understand Maven. It's just a build tool, and it basically contains a test framework which is test ng. Now it will trigger the Selenium and it will run the test cases. Okay, and so this is what we do. Now let's jump to the original question right which is basically why we need jenkins now uh, so you can run your automation test suite similarly as a developer point of view you can basically run your uh, development your whatever the code that you are pushing you can run that uh, you can run uh, you you can use more web basically you can run your automation suite in web and mobile it supports you can add slaves uh, you can add slaves slave basically means that uh, a simple uh, it's a basically a parent parent are connected to the child now you can scale up your application so you can basically basically delegate which job where you will use for example i want to run selenium on this machine i want to run my development related task on either another machine i want to run my some other task mobile related task on third machine so i can scale that also i can use slave concepts on this case you can see trends detail failure everything on jenkins you can basically see reports you can send email notification after the build uh, you can do api monitoring so there are number of things that you can do with Jenkins. So it is very, very important. That's what I'm continuously saying. If you are fresher, if you have three, four years of experience, even if you have seven, 10 years of experience, if you don't know Jenkins, start learning it as a software tester, even as a developer, okay? So this is it. Let's see the demo. demo. Okay, so let me open this. So this is Jenkins. Uh, it's how it looks like, okay? So right now I have set up one project, which is Selenium Java project, okay? This project basically uh, opens a google.com and basically fetches the title, which is simple automation script that we have done. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Jenkins, which looks like, and we have lots of option. Right now I am logging as an admin, if you see, right? So this is the, uh, this is me. Uh, I am logging as an admin. How to install the Jenkins, how to basically manage users, how to uh, do anything that we will discuss in the next video, okay? This is just a demo that I am showing you right now. Awesome. Uh, so these are the couple of options which are available, right? Uh, you can build the project right now. Okay, you can configure the project. You can change the settings. You can delete this project. You can see the HTML report. You can rename it. You can change, uh, see the changes. What are the changes with this project? You can see the status and you can basically back to the dashboard also. Okay, awesome, cool. So this is dashboard. And if you see right now, I have only one job, which basically if you see it is basically say the last success. Nine minutes ago, I have run this uh, job. Uh, last failure, 24 hours, uh, 21 hours. Uh, this is 13 seconds. Uh, what is the duration of this job? Okay. So let's quickly run this and I'll show you like how this works. So you can do a build now. Okay. So this is the project which is building right now. If you see 16 number is coming. And uh, if you see this browser, right, which is basically Selenium test right now running. And uh, okay. Let me make it a little smaller. Okay. So now it's, if you go to this, if you click on this green icon, right, you will see console logs, all the logs. Okay. So we are logging as an admin, right? And these are the, this is a Maven project. If you see, right, we are running a POM or XML, uh, clean test and a single file, single XML file. And this was a test. And uh, this was the test basically, which was executed. And these were the results. Okay. And you can see the results here also. You can see on the HTML report, what was the result. Okay. Right. So all the setup, I'm going to explain you what a step by step, but I'm just showing you right now. Let let's rerun and let's see how this test looks like. Okay. So last time it was running behind the scenes. So that's why we are unable to unable to see that. Okay. So it will open a URL uh, quickly and uh, it will just execute some of the test cases and that's it. Right. And you can send this report, HTML report to the email notification to your stakeholders. So that's why, that's why uh, Jenkins is uh, helpful. Okay. So I hope this is clear now why we need Jenkins and uh, what was, what is Jenkins actually? This is very important for your interviews. 
and uh, in the next video we'll cover a couple of other concepts right so i have uh, like day two where we will basically installing the application on mac windows both of them okay uh, in the third day we will i will explain you like how to run it on jen uh, and run it on a docker right uh, in the third point five basically there are a couple of uh, issues which we basically we'll counter we'll fix them and uh, fourth will be how to assign roles and create user which is very important to learn in jenkins and uh, i will explain you one of the important job which is this job uh, this is called as a free uh, freestyle job right now okay i'll explain you uh, what is it okay so i hope you have learned something in this video and uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, please please let me know uh, any other topic that you want to learn in jenkins in the comment section and if you are excited type excited guys because that will help uh, the video or algorithm okay and uh, if you think this video is helpful for you you can share with other people also and uh, make sure you like give give a like thumbs up and i'll uh, i'll see you in the next video and we'll see you in the day 2 basically okay thanks a lot this is your host pramod i'll see you in the next video bye